here at Aqua Shella in Orlando, Florida. This place is amazing. There's everything here. There's reef tanks, there's freshwater tanks, there's fish I've never seen before, there's corals, there's reptiles, there's YouTubers, creators all over the place. I appreciate all you guys that did say hello. I'm on my way to go try to find some other YouTubers so I can say hi to them. This is amazing, guys. If you ever get a chance to go to an Aquashella event, if you're into fish, you gotta do one of these at some point in your life. So we're at the YouTube creator corner here. This is Perry, she Hi. runs it. And I just had a great conversation with her. She has promised me she's gonna hook me up. 100%, I can't, like I'm so excited you're here. Well, I'm glad that I found her and I found this corner. So hopefully the next Aquashella, um, I'll be more involved with the creator corner. Personally see to it, myself. All right, see, you heard it here, 100%. Thank you. Thank you. Make sure you grab your handy dandy glasses before you go in that maze. Oh, we're rocking now. With all these tanks that Fluvo has set up to do their live aquascaping, you would wonder what are they using as filtration for all these tanks? Wouldn't you know it, they're using their own Fluvo 407s. The 407s are a great canister, one step below their FX series, but as you can see, all 407s and they're all getting the job done. Check it out.
Bill keeps it in a bottle or jar or you name it, he puts stuff in it. Tanner! So here's how we're gonna do We're gonna do a little different. These guys are gonna rock, paper, scissors to see who chooses which side. Everything's pretty similar, but you know, maybe there's a choice piece they saw or two. After they choose, we're gonna put 20 minutes on the clock and then we're gonna go. One, skateboard! All right, oh, we got the cannons up again, so. So without further ado, the winner of Aquashella Orlando 2022 Freshwater Skate Walk is... Trace and so forth like that, which has done amazing for my African cyclists. Yeah, yeah. I saw one also that he was changing from a smaller tank to a bigger tank. He got new background, swap in, and everything. Yeah, it looks much different on, on YouTube. So, I was looking for videos, and then I found you on I'm glad, YouTube. I'm glad you found it. I have you checked out my favorite. All right. I was like, oh my gosh, so no. I've, been, I've been watching you since then. About to say, how do you do those employ the now tank? For a nano tank, yeah. I wouldn't. It's way too over concentrated okay. for a tank that small. Oh, I hope, I hope that helps you uh, succeed. You know? <laughs> you did the, the one where you did an FSX filter and loaded it up. Uh -huh. it was, Incredible. Nice to meet you. So I really like this tank guys made by custom cages. Let's go check it out real quick. This is absolutely beautiful. I would have I would have this and nothing else in my living room. When I decide to go salt water, this is what it's gonna look like guys. Take a look at it. I'm claiming it right now. It's gonna look something like this. guys that know me you know I appreciate a clean sleek look that's why I prefer my African cichlids so much because it's very simple aquascaping very clean look this is exactly the kind of look that I prefer in a saltwater tank 
sleek, clean, minimalistic, beautiful lighting, plenty of space. Okay guys, I'm gonna give you exactly three seconds to find what's in this tank. Ready? Go. One, two, you're out of time. There's a leaf frog right on top of that leaf. Slightly brighter green than the leaf itself. Guys, let me know if you see it. Let me know if you saw it in the three seconds. I wanna know. Thank you. That was cool. I got to meet the Princess Mermaid. I finally get to meet my bitch. Nice Bigger is better. I, I love hear. this guy. We just ran into each other yes. and recognized each other right away. Big supporter. Cool. He doesn't even know how he helped me. Member, he's in the members, member. the members live streams all over the place. Cool. I fell in love with African sickness because of this guy right here. When I found this guy, I was really going through like the worst depression oh, in my man. life. Like Sorry. the worst depression. Sorry to hear that. Gaining weight, they didn't want to go out, and then I got into the fish, started following you. Oh. You say I joined the group, got it active, right. and joined the community. Yes, doing everything. I learned a lot, you. especially with the uh, flow. Shoot yeah. across the top. Yeah, that's what we got going on right there. Same yeah. weight maker up there. Yeah. Man, I've hey. been following you for a while. Man, nice to meet you. Respect what you do, brother. So, guys, we're here with Joseph from Planet Aquarius. Yes. He's got a cool sump right here with a nice system. Uh, Joseph, tell us about it a little bit. Yeah, we actually got this fresh this morning. It's a prototype from Aquatic Habitats. So we're finalizing some details on it, and it should be released in the next month or so. Okay. And we're pretty excited about it. Cool. How does this thing work? I, yeah. I see pads up here. Yeah, this is what they call like a roller fleece filter. Roller so, fleece filter, got it. Okay. So in case instead of your filter sock, you would use one of these. And the great part about it is that it senses when the water is dirty and the, the, the paper is dirty, and it rolls and takes that dirt out of the water. So you never have to change a filter sock, wash it, automatically it does all that for you. If you notice that it's got 3 8 inch tassel. Yeah, that's very it has thick. a very, very uh, uh, thick, thick top. Mm -hmm. So you, you can, when you look at people in the past, literally stand on it, jump up and down. That's always, it's, always it's, good to have that yeah. security. Yeah, exactly. When, you got, when you're dealing with that big water volume, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, in addition to that, you know, it's also got the, the so filter sock plate. So for some reason, if you prefer filter socks instead of a roller, you have the option of switching it back switch and it forth. Switch it up. So okay. you're not stuck with one configuration. This one they call a power refugium. So your refugium is actually on this side. So you're able to feed it with a separate line so it can control the water flow through there. Okay. Because quite often nice. a lot of people want a slower flow through the refugium mm -hmm. instead of that you know, high flow through your To give it more time for the refugium to do its thing. Exactly. Absorb exactly. what it needs to. Yeah. Okay. And then it, yeah, they also include this filter frag rack for you. Oh, nice. Some people keep frag it. I like it. So a lot, of, a lot of people have asked me about why I don't use sums. Or, or when I'm going to transition into sums. Yeah. So I got my eye on this thing right here. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping uh, <laughs> keeping open open arms and open thoughts for this. I really like it. That sounds good. Thank you for the, yeah. the, the quick tour. Yeah, thanks for Appreciate the time. it. Yeah. Enjoy the show. Right? Cool. All right, let's go. We are live from Apple Shella. This is the first time I've ever gone live from my phone. We're here with a couple of guys. Bigger say hello. You guys might know, know Bigger from the channel, from the membership. Bobby Metcalf. We're here at the Sea Camp Tech. Go ahead and introduce yourself, guys. What's going on, family? My name is Troy. I fought a Kev, Cave Money Aquatics. How y'all doing? CS House of Fish keeping here. There's a couple of guys that come over to the Sea Camp Tent. We're here at Sea Camp Tent. Oh, brother. All right. No, all right. I don't, yeah. I don't keep salt water, fish. I know that eventually I'm going to end up going the salt water route. I know you will. I got a lot to learn. So much stuff. Hey, a little bit at a time. Yeah, it's like, how, can you, how can you not eventually upgrade to this stuff? You know? hey. A rock in your tank or something. They just crawl to it and stick on it. So they just. You, you just... can actually put them in the tank and hold them against a rock for about a minute or two, yeah? three, and they'll stick to it. They get. See, wow. they, they stick, like they're stuck to the cups already. Oh, wow. There's a, a lot of good color variety in that. Yeah, when I go, if I choose to go salt water, it would be for a reason like this, because you can, so many colors, right. it'll, it'll make a beautiful Yeah, you can't beat the colors, man. Yeah. 